Hi friends, so welcome to all. Uh, today we are going to solve the packet tracer activity uh, propagating a default route in OSPF v2. Here is our objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, propagate a default route. In part 2, verify connectivity. Also, we will go through the background. In this activity, we will configure an IPv4 default route to the internet and propagate that default route to the to other OSP of routers. Then we will then verify the default route is in downstream routing tables and that host can now access a web server on the internet. Coming to part two one, propagate a default route. In that step one, configure a default route on R2. Configure R2 with a directly attached default route to the internet. So here they given the command IP route and uh, uh, the default route we have to give and uh, here we can see the interface. So here we can see uh, our uh, router R2. Here on this device R2 we are going to configure a default route to this uh, internet. Uh, with the, uh, the exit interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 coming to the configuration on R2 enable configure terminal here we are going to give IP root 0 .0 .0 space 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. And now we have to specify the exit interface so that is serial zero, zero slash one slash zero. Coming to a step two, propagate the route in OSPF. Configure OSPF to propagate the default route in OSPF routing updates. So we have to give this command default information originate so that the OSPF uh, uh, will propagate the default route in OSPF routing updates uh, on other uh, devices. Coming to uh, R2, enable. So we have to go to uh, the OSPF router OSPF uh, with the process ID. So we will cross check the OS, uh, OSPF uh, process ID here, uh, what they given. Uh, show ip ospf right here we can cross check that yes here we can see that ospf uh, with the process id one right so we will uh, go to configure terminal router ospf with the process id one and now we are going to uh, pro propagate uh, the root in uh, ospf uh, using the command uh, default information originate Coming to step 3, examine the routing tables on R1 and R3. Examine the routing tables of R1 and R3 to verify that the route has been propagated. So we have to give this a show command that is show IP route. Coming to the device R1, enable here we are going to give the show command to show IP route. Yes, here we can see that the route has been propagated and uh, updated uh, uh, on this uh, R1 device in its uh, routing table. Now we will check it on R3. Enable, here we are going to give the command to show IP route. Yes, here we can see that. So the route has been propagated and updated in this uh, router uh, R3. Now we are coming to the last part to verify connectivity. Verify that PC1, PC2 and PC3 can ping the web server. Coming to the topology, here we can see our entity devices PC1, PC2 and PC3. These devices now be able to uh, ping to this web server. Uh, we will get the IP address of this web server. IP config. 
we will copy this address so that we can ping very easily here we can see that address yes so first we will ping from pc1 to uh, this uh, web server coming to pc1 desktop command prompt ping to the web server we are waiting for the replay yes we are getting the replay now we will ping from pc2 uh, to this web server in the internet coming to pc2 command prompt ping to the web server here is the ip address yes we are getting the replay and finally we will ping from pc3 to this web server yes we are getting the replay well it was a small packet tracer activity propagating a default route in ospf v2 here we can see the completion status 100 out of 100 friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and you can subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you